Hello and welcome to another edition of App Snacks, bite-sized reviews of educational apps. And today's app is going to be Pic Collage, a great go-to app for younger grades and images. Let's take a look. So we'll go in and as it says, Pic Collage makes collages out of pictures. To do that, we just create tap to create a new collage. We're going to look for a layout. We just need to select one of the few buttons on the screen. And the frame is what we're looking for here. I'll click on frame and you can see these various options that we have. Okay, so when I've chosen a frame, I can then actually change a frame width within this, the margins, by controlling this little slider here. Um, can be useful at times. I'm going to choose a color quickly over here for a background. There's over 60 colors, I believe, in this one to choose from. And so once I've got my color, I'm going to close down this box and now I'm going to bring in some images and to bring in images we just add them here by pressing the plus sign and you can take them from various sources you can see from this uh, menu I'm gonna get some from my photos for, so I'll click on add photos and I'm going to go to my insect collection here so once I've got insects I will choose now what I like is I can choose a number at once so I'm actually going to choose uh, four here and once I press done they'll all come in now it takes a shot at arranging them for you but you can move them around yourself I just put my finger on one for example the ant and drag it down to a new box and that will move it into the box let go and it will be reset and I can move the images within the frame so it's kind of like a little bit of a cropping exercise there okay so once I've actually done that I can then go ahead and um, add text so to add text again back down here we will go to the add text feature and I'll just type in my text which will be uh, insects and once I've done that, I can just choose a variety of text, just so you know, uh, and alignment styles and colors using the menu along here. Uh, if I just click on T for text, you'll see the different options available. Okay, I'm done with text, and what I like about this is, like everything else, I can just move it with my finger, and I can actually increase the size of it, the angle, whatever I like. So that's using a, a, a background with um, a frames, but I want to just very quickly also show you what I like to do as well as choose no frame. Then it's absolutely open for you to use or the students. And when you do this, you have freedom to just move, resize, rotate all of these images so you can create them in any way you like. There's some other things about this that I like once you're using it is to have some options on the photographs so for example um, if I double click on a photograph I get a menu coming up and here what I can do is edit the border as an example and I can put on a colored border if I like and then some other things I can do which I like is to add a shadow which makes it lift off the page a little bit another interesting thing about the photographs is if I double tap on this context menu here as well not only can I clip and crop but I can actually edit the photo there's some simple photo editing tools in here which are quite neat uh, I'm going to for example use effects on this point and there's some subtle effects in here which I really like I can add some interesting yet subtle uh, effects to the photograph so there I'm happy with that one now I'll click apply and done and it's in you can see the effect is being added to that so a lovely way to just uh, collect uh, photographs and images and put them together in a, in a nice way make mistakes you want to add or delete photographs and there's another easy way to do that if we just take this silkworm for example if I just uh, put my finger on it and hold it down move it towards the trash can I can then take the photograph off as well and if I want to add another photograph, of course, it's easy just to go back to my insects and add one of those photographs. So there we go, another inlay there. Use this with, with all sorts of grades, from capturing activities and celebrations. You can then share and print these. You can go to take a 
field trip photos, put them into here, science experiments, you can tell stories with it, you can sequence stories or resequence and tell stories, that's a great exercise as well. What about a shape hunt or a number hunt for younger kids? Um, what about just creating a poster, or celebrating something you're doing or a cover for a project? Absolutely fantastic app, really simple to use, no sign in, give it a go. I hope you enjoyed this week's App Snack.